What's up guys, Jared back. So tell me something, how annoying is it that we can't go into the Play Store and see a list of all the applications we paid for? That has always pissed me off and it's always pissed off every Android user out there that has tried to acquire that list. Well, look no further, be annoyed no further. Uh, we've got My Purchases. This app actually has been around for a little while now and believe it or not, I just discovered it the other day. Um, My Purchases comes in a free version and a paid version. Obviously, the free version is ad supported. The paid version is not. Um, and it, as soon as you open it up, this is what you get. A, a list of all the Google accounts that you have synced up with, this, with your device. So let's go ahead and click on uh, my YouTube or you know this this type my the smoking Android Gmail account and it's gonna load up a list of all the applications that I've downloaded or sorry paid for canceled and or refunded uh, we'll wait for this to finish loading there it is uh, as well as all of my devices that I paid for on this particular account so as you can see we've got this nice long list and it gives you uh, descriptions of how much it cost and the date when you picked it up and so on um, but we can go ahead one step further go ahead and jump into settings here and we can actually filter the refunded items that we said, no, that app was not for me. I would like my money back. Uh, applications that perhaps have been canceled due to maybe download errors or perhaps you changed your mind in the middle of the download, um, as well as already installed apps. We can go ahead and go back, click on the refresh button. That'll refresh the items for us. And there we go. It has now cut down that list considerably um, to the applications that I just kind of kept on my device and decided to stick with because I liked those applications. Um, anyways, guys, really cool, uh, very simplistic application. Uh, there is another one on the Play Store. Uh, it's from Paul O'Brien, a.k.a. Modico. Um, however, it does require root, and that's why I went with this one because anybody can use it, and you get to filter um, the different types of uh, paid applications that showed up versus, you know, canceled and refunded as, or just the ones that we've stuck with. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go check out the application, download it for yourself. I'm sure all of you will be taking advantage of this because currently at the moment, Google seems to be stupid enough to never include a list or uh, give us access to a list of our paid apps. If you ask me, it's a conspiracy to forget about those paid apps and just restart downloading other ones. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Hopefully you liked this video and you found it useful. If you did, uh, don't be afraid to click that likes button down below. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. And you can always stay up to date on all things me by following me on Twitter and Google+. Plus. Those links can be found in the description below as well. That's it. Thanks for watching as always, guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.